Welcome to my channel. What do I have for you today? Bit of embroidery, uh, slow stitching, quilting, I don't know, call it what you will. A book review, loads of bits. So firstly, I want to recommend this embroidery book. Yeah, it gives you loads, absolutely loads of stitches for you to do. Brilliant book. Especially when you get stuck because my next project, you know, oh, you might remember <laughs> at school, depends on how long ago it was, that you would do a little stitch sampler. So you'd get like a little piece and you'd do different stitches and that is your stitch sampler. You can always also get or make stitch books, stitch sampler books. I came up with a different bit, as I would. Do you remember this bit that I did? And I said it didn't fit anywhere. It didn't fit any books or anything. And it was too big to make a, a book like that, because that just would have taken me forever. And you know I like to get things done rather quickly. So this is my effort of stitch by stitch. It hasn't got the backs. If you remember, we made a, a purse out of the backing bit. <laughs> Not to worry. On the back, it has a handcrafted by Linda. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I like this material, so I put this on the back. It does have, uh, it's a material. And then it'd be my fluffy inside to make it a bit more padding. And then it's a plain one on the back again. Although you've got some stitching on the front that you can see, when I open him up, as I will, gorgeous material this one as, as a backing, because obviously it's the backing. Then you've got a full stitch it's not a dictionary or anything because I didn't write what stitches they were I just did the stitches so let's have a look we go that way white doesn't show up very well does it never mind all sorts of stitches that way and we've got some down there I like that French knot one I did like that one and we've got <laughs> I like that. It was like a basket work one, that red one. There we go. Let's pull these across for you. Hope you can see these. Kikaboo, I'm coming the other side. <laughs> and then the bottom row. More again. There you go. And I did the date. It should say 20. 23 just did the date on there as i say my favorite is this one so it was like you just like a church top you know you're just making that and then you're putting french knots on them i did all the straight bits first and then i went back and did the french knotting knotting I like the crossy ones that was quite a pretty one an effective one that one is a raised one. If you can see him, he's got raised stitches on him. Well, apparently, I think that one's a herringbone, is it? Herringbone stitch. Little zigzags. Lazy daisies. This was, I oh, can't think of it. It's some, it's not a Y stitch, is it? I can't think. Feather. Feather stitch. I was just doing different versions of it. I like this, the basket work one. You sort of do a lot of little lines and then you weave. Basket weave. There we go. Basket work, basket weave. Whichever. I like my circles. That looks like a lot of staplers, doesn't it? You know, staples? <laughs> just to me, anyway. Chains down there. What's that one? That 
looks like I don't think it's anything ah oh well it looks like I've gone down a lot of ways then I've gone across a lot of ways to get that one another sort of um, the back stitch one chain to chain so quite a few different stitches little stars and I love my fluffy bits you know the when you pull the strings off and you wall off oh try again Lynn when you pull the material bits off and you get nice edging I do like those the back as I say is just stitched on all the way around as he comes and yes it is stitched to that and yes you've got your little bit at the bottom there because that's once you folded it that's how it goes so I fold it up I fold it in once and in twice and there it is my effort of a stitch book or a stitch sampler I actually I did need this book because I was running out of stitches in my head so I, <laughs> I had to look up some I thought oh that'd be handy I'll get that one um it's a it says 50 search press classics sorry down there a to z of embroidery stitches a complete manual for the beginner through to the advanced embroiderer really good they do just a marker I do lots of stitch books look at all them I don't need all those but they they do 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 a lot but it's by search press I've got it on Amazon reasonable price can't think much but it was a reasonable it's even got ribbon bits in there you know when you do ribbon embroidery not attempted that one yet I have my ribbons I have the material I have needles I just don't have the courage at the moment. It's funny, isn't it? When you start something new. There we go. When I'm doing something, I know what I'm doing. I'll just do loads. But something like that looks, looks very delicate and very pretty. There's another one in the ribbons. I must have a go. Must have a go, Linny. But anyway, this one was my stitch sampler that just comes out and out and unfolds was fun i did the i made a load of boxes up all different that's what i did first i actually got um, a marker pen marker pencil Can i see him no oh, that looks like him i think let's have a look uh, silver marking pencil that's what that one was and I got a ruler I went on the back of the material and did all my lines so and then I stitched with my green to get my different blocks and then once you turn it this way you've got you know you've got your proper side of the material you've got some lovely boxes on there you can do your different stitches in I am on the way or on the go I have um, sort of like this I think it's the same size they're three by three inch boxes and I'm doing trees in them I love trees so each box is going to have a different tree could take some time will take some time but nevertheless I shall have a sheet like this of trees so we fold him back up somehow that way we fold him up we fold him in once we fold him in twice and there he is a lovely little keepsake of all your stitches and if you get stuck for a stitch you can open it up and say oh, I like that one I'll do that one again as long as you can remember how to do it <laughs> that's that's the trick but you've always got the book so that's good as well so on that note i'm off to do more trees and i'll bring you that one when i get it finished it's going to be pretty different we had to go out to we didn't have to we went out to hilliers at romsey uh yesterday and i was taking lots of pictures of 
trees just to give me different tree shapes. They're all different. Every tree was different, which is really good because that does help when you're trying to do about 18, I think it is, different trees. <laughs> Never mind. I amuse myself and I'm quite happy with that. So there you go. So on this note, shall we say, do give us a thumbs up, do subscribe. You take care, you stay safe. Keep watching. And it's bye-bye for now. Enjoy your sewing.